Um, oh, very good, Jim. So, um, let me just do <laughs> my little rosin bag. My rosin bag. Um, so, this, this is, I wasn't kidding when I said this is like the greatest piece. But I think it's yeah. just ideally suited to the instrument. It's also just an exciting, wonderful work. And I think you have so much going on in your technical life. Um, like you really mastered the basic techniques of playing this. I think it would be fun to kind of flesh it out with a little bit more musical content. Okay, and I, I just wonder, I, I, I have a feeling you and your teacher probably talk about that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's a lot of books, just, just playing the piece keeps a person busy, I understand that. <laughs> um, I, I feel sometimes a little bit, when I listen to you now, Jack, that maybe you're um, not giving phrases a chance to complete themselves. Like you're about to finish something, but then you start something new. So there's a sense of a little bit of run on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when we talk to each other, I ask a question, and you think about it, and you answer. It's like a sense of timing and calm in the conversation. Even if we were having an excited conversation, I bet we would still have a little bit more of a sense of phrasing. And I, I think maybe we can focus on that. Great, but you don't 
don't really have a whole crowd in here. Let's just investigate what happens with bow speed. So I, I, for teaching purposes, I call this track one, track two, track three is kind of the equator, track four is halfway between the equator and the bridge, track five is really like infinity bow speed, right? It's like where you, you have to kind of zen your way through <laughs> track five. Um, you've been playing kind of around track four, right? About, but then you also don't get the follow through because it's so resistant. So I would suggest we move it to like track three. Yeah.
and then here in quarter notes, da, da, di, da, da. they can be freer.
slower. So we have about a bit together. So let's go one. said when you change the the momentum yeah oh yeah then it's you it's know a new piece. it's a whole new piece yes 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 totally no i i really get that so so yeah And then for this 
one. Oh, oh, oh. This kind of thing takes practice, but it also takes imagination, right? To imagine what it might be. Because I think it's dangerous just to spit out a whole bunch of notes in time. That's hard for us to take. It would be like listening to me drone on for an hour without any inflection. Okay? Um, let's go. I wonder, what would it sound like if you started right on that? says that I'm a schmoozer. You're a schmoozer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you steal, steal from your dad here to get a schmoozy approach to those first notes. Da -da -da, schmooze, da -da 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 -da. That idea is a really useful one musically. Because um, otherwise things just sound too uniform. If they sound too uniform, it's a little, it's hard to imagine the drama. Yeah. I think you, you get that. Um, can you do the, let's, let's just do one more thing. And I, we have all our students for this hour here now. Is anybody else playing? The adult, the adult student has not showed up. So. Okay. But um, Jack and Elton are in this group, and I'll get here just because. Yeah. Okay, we're going to save some time for Dvorak at the end. Great. Elton, what are you playing? Uh, That's not <laughs> full house today. I love it. I just love it. Okay. So, let's, Jack, let's finish up with. Um, where's the stuff? Can you play for me? Da -da 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.